Okay, let's program another board. Here we go. Here's the RF Bitbanger board. All these parts have been soldered on by the factory using a machine. And the machine needs these rails along the sides of the board to handle the board by. We don't need these, so we're going to just break them off. They're scored along the, the boundary there. With most boards, you can break them off with your fingers. With this set, I need pliers. So. Okay, now, there are three places where we have to connect to the board for programming. Over here is a 4-pin 5-volt serial port. That's used for user programming of Arduino sketches. Here is a 6-pin in-circuit serial programming port, which allows us to program the bootloader to turn the, the bare microprocessor here into an Arduino. And this connector also provides power to the board, provided that you put a jumper on these two pins here. Here's our jumper. It's just a, a shunt with a two pin header attached with long legs and I've bent those two legs out a little bit to provide spring tension. So just put them in these two holes and there's enough tension to hold it in place. Similar trick works for this four pin serial port. This is a standard FTDI serial port board connected to USB and we connect these just put them through the holes here. I say put them through the holes here. There we go. And a little bit of angle is all it takes to make these make effective connection. This is a USB tiny in circuit serial programmer device. And I equipped it with a little pogo pin adapter. These are spring loaded so that we can make contact with these six pins, six pads on the board uh, without having to solder anything. So there we are. We're holding a little tension, and notice that the pilot light has come on. I can now go into the Arduino bootloader, load the bootloader, it just takes a couple of seconds. Now once it's loaded with the bootloader, it's essentially an Arduino, and we can use the standard programming button in the Arduino IDE to program the board the rest of the way. It just takes a few seconds, we have to wait for it. Okay, now it's done. I just take all this stuff off. I choose to put a sticker on the board that shows that it's been programmed with firmware version 1.02. I'll add a filter board and take an anti-static bag, which opens at this end. Put both boards inside the bag. Now this is ready to go into a kit.